It's almost time for the official delivery of sim update number nine and that's why when you need to consider okay what am i gonna do because as soon as sim update number nine is being released you might not receive that official build due to the fact that you're participating in the beta or inside a program just as i am in those circumstances there are two options right you can wait because in a few days you will be forced removed from the beta program or you can manually remove yourself from the program and that's what i'm going to show you now but also how you kind of prevent that you need to reinstall a lot of stuff which means that you also need to re-download a lot of content and with a lot of content i simply mean okay you probably need to reinstall the complete flight simulator including all the world updates including all your community add-ons including everything you bought via the marketplace and believe me that directory can become pretty big so how to relieve the beta program that's the first thing we're gonna look at but prior to that let me first show you what you can do to avoid a complete reinstallation so on uh, this page uh, there's a nice description how you can move the uh, packages directory to a different folder because that's one of the methods uh, to prevent that you completely need to reinstall flight simulator and the reason for this is that if a reinstallation will happen it will simply delete this whole directory right that flight simulator with that weird uh, GUID uh, after it this will completely be, de be deleted and since this one also contains the packages folder which contains both the community and the official folder you will lose everything well let's look for fun how big this directory is right so if we are gonna look at the properties well you can see it easily i would say it goes up to a very high number right so if we wait and wait and wait you can see it's still counting it's almost 200 gigabyte but we'll continue to count because it's far more right so 245 uh, gigabyte which you need to reinstall uh i would say the community add-on folder is probably the smallest one right if we look at it uh let's have a look at it that's between brackets only 42 gigabyte but the other one the official one is much larger right if we go to that one it will go easily above 200 gig and that's of course what you want to prevent that you need to reinstall it right because that's not fun especially if you are I would say limited uh by your isp right it's 202 gigabyte not a lot of fun so going back to the site right there are two methods uh, i they are both the same which will i would say allow you to move this content outside of the uh, package folder and you can do it both for the ms store installation but also for the steam installation unfortunately for the xbox installation there's no other way to do it than reinstall it completely so too bad if you're on the xbox so what you need to do is you need to move the directories now once you've done that you need to modify the user config.opt file which is in uh, the flight simulator directory the other way to do it is simply start it and then it will say hey i'm missing content and it wants to re-download it then you will have the option to select browse and and go to the new location so let's do it right let's move it and uh, that will probably take some time so i'm probably gonna uh, pause recording in between so um, what i'm gonna do is just as described in this manual i'm gonna create a folder uh on my c drive right so let's do that uh, and then i call it uh new folder i will call it msfs not because that's the nice name but that's the most easy way then i go i can open another prompt and then i'm gonna go to the uh, community folder or at least the local cache folder and then go to the package folder because this is the stuff we need to move right so we're gonna move i would say both of these folders we're gonna move them over here so i'm gonna do it folder by folder uh, just to avoid that we're say spending a crazy amount of time uh, if you're lucky and you've got a fast disk it's done within a few seconds but if you've got a slower disk uh, then you might need to take uh, some time right like maybe drink some additional coffee and you can see that it's uh, moving the packages 
And while we're waiting, I will show you the second method how to do it, right? So let's let's go to that. Because this is the method which uh, can be found in the Flight Simulator Support database. It describes also how to move these folders or move these items, right? But here it said, okay, hey, you can uh, change the user config file, which is not being done on the, the other installation, right? So the user config file can be changed. Uh, so what you can do is, um, once uh, I would say you've moved the files, right? So let's see if it already completed. Right, you can see the packages folder is completed or is empty, sorry. So that's good. Then you can go to the uh, user config file, right? So if you would say, okay, hey, uh, let's uh, have a look at it. Uh, well, then the question of course is where is it? Well, it's pretty easy. If you go to the local cache file, or local cache folder, I should say, you will find the user config.opt file. Uh, that's one you can open with, and then you can say, okay, hey, I want to uh, open it with, well, for example, Notepad. In Notepad, you will find all kinds of details about your video settings and your graphic settings. But if you scroll down and continue to scroll down, you can see graphics VR, you can find the install packages path, right? This is the path where the packages are installed, which is currently set to the folder uh, which they were originally in. So you can do this and you can change it here, right? By simply saying, okay, hey, I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna change this to, uh, MSFS and then close and then save the file. That's option one. If you don't want to do this and want to use the other method, then you can simply close this one, don't save it, and you can start Flight Simulator. So as soon as we start Flight Simulator, it will prompt us that we need to specify the packages folder because it's missing content, right? It doesn't make sense because it says, hey, where are those packages, right? Where is all the content? Where is the scenery? Where are the aircrafts? Uh, please re-download them again. No, we're not going to re-download them again. We're going to simply follow the instructions on that other blog article, which says, okay, if you get prompted, uh, then you can, uh, let's say, do the uh, uh, browse option as soon as it prompts, but it will take some time. If it still doesn't work for you, you can always modify that user config file uh, if you, say, feel more comfortable of doing that. Keep in mind that after the reinstallation, you might need to modify that user config file again, right? Because else it will simply reinstall it again. And then the bad thing is that you installed Flight Simulator or the content itself actually twice. So here it says, hey, I want to download stuff, right? I, I'm going to download things. Well, that's not what I want to do. I'm simply going to change it, right? Because here you can see it already started creating these folders, which is not what I want to do. So you go to your C drive, in my case. Uh, let's do it the easy way. And then go to the folder we created earlier and then say select folder. Then it's going to check if there are any updates. In most cases, it won't find any update, which is good. If that's the case, then it will simply start to load, right? It will need to, I'd say, update some of the catalog files because there are a lot of catalog files which are, I'd say, containing cont or uh, descriptions of where and which uh, updates you've installed, but also which content you've installed. And then you can continue uh, the installation, right? So uh, once you've done this, before leaving the beta program, you need to close Flight Simulator, right? If you don't close Flight Simulator, it, it could be that there is an error, although it shouldn't be because normally it would say it won't also install the update if you uh, have it open. So for now, we will kind of minimize this window. If it allows us, oh, it doesn't allow us, well, then go back to the uh, Xbox Insider, then click on Manage, and if you're uh, on Manage, you can say, I want to leave the preview. Again, once you've done this and hit Save, it will probably reinitiate a reinstall of Flight Simulator. So do take that into account. However, the good thing is that once you start Flight Simulator, you can do exactly the same trick as we just did. Click the browse option, go to the folder where you store the packages, 
and then I would say it will save you a lot of download uh, downloads, right? It will save you hundreds of gigs of downloads. So here ends this video. In this video, I showed you how you can leave the preview program, but prevent that you need to re-download all the content, including all the world updates and the community add-ons which you installed by moving them to a different folder. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.